everybody welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before my name is Heather thank you so much for taking the time to join me today I appreciate you all even stopping by but hopefully you'll stay today we're doing something super fun super fast and beginner friendly we're making the Aurora glasses case from stitches by Christy and I will link the pattern below here she is I mean, so cute and so, so easy. This is a great way if you're a beginner to practice curves, to practice using different materials. The sides come down and then back up. And so it's a great way to learn how to like pivot because you're gonna wanna follow that curve down to a certain point and then come back up again. Um, we are using magnetic snaps from the, um, from cam snaps. So we're using the rivet press to put them on. That's why you can see them on the outside. Um, if you don't have a rivet press, you can always do magnetic snaps directly on the interior um, so that they don't stick out to the outside, but we have them. And so I thought it would be cool if we followed the pattern and use them. You know, sometimes I don't follow the pattern or if you're new here, sometimes I don't follow the pattern. <laughs> um, which I think is cool. That's how you grow as a sewer, right? You see something amazing that somebody has created and you're like, Ooh, I wonder what it would look like like this. And that's totally fine. But today we're going to follow the pattern. It's maybe a new day for us. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're making this Aurora glasses case from stitches by Christy. I am such a big fan. I hope you'll be too. Stay tuned as we move through our materials and the sewing tutorial. All right, you guys. So like I said, this does not require a lot of materials. It is a beginner friendly pattern and the pattern and all the materials will be linked below, at least all the materials that I know where they came from or what they are. So we um, first of all have our two exterior cuts and this is waterproof canvas from Oh So Pretty Custom Fabrics. And then we have our two interior cuts, and this is this pretty rust-colored waterproof canvas from Wonderground Fabrics. Please don't buy it all after this video, because I love it. <laughs> We're gonna go with just a one, a half inch webbing instead of making um, a, a little tab. We're just gonna use pre-made webbing. It'll make it easier for us and even more beginner friendly than it already is. This is like a royal blue color that I thought would look nice with our exterior and this, what? oh my gosh, it's not one inch. This half inch webbing is also from Wonderground. And then we just, we're going with antique bronze today because this is giving me bronze vibes. Um, and this is a half inch swivel hook. We are gonna do a bag tag today. We haven't done one in quite some time. So these are custom made bag tags from Heartwood and Hyde Co. So we're gonna put that on our exterior. We'll actually do that before uh, we go together to the sewing machine. So by the time you see this exterior over there, we'll already have the bag tag sewn on it. I have sewn on bag tags a million times, and so I'm not going to do that to you guys. We're going to take a little bag tag sewing break. But basically, if you've never sewn on a bag tag before, these are cork. And so we're just going to go top stitch level across all four sides. And you can place it anywhere I'm going to put mine off to the side here above where our base is going to be so that it's, I don't have to worry about it being centered. I'm not good at centering things, which is totally fine. And I know that. So I like to like put it off to the side. Then if it's a little uneven, it's not such a big deal. And then the last thing that we need today, we are using rivet cap snaps. And so these are that antique bronze to match our swivel hook. I'll see if I can pull some out here. So this is one side, they're magnetic. And here's the other one here. So the male side and a female side. So we need one of each and then we just need the caps that go with it. And we're using these because the installation of the snap in the pattern is after everything is all done. Now, if you don't have these and you wanna install directly 
on your interior, you can absolutely do that. You just want to interface and you want to install your snap before you put the bag together. We're going to go ahead and follow the pattern and we're going to use these after the fact. So you'll, you'll end up seeing the cap side of our rivet on both sides. And so that's why we're using sort of the double cap rivet here, rivet snap. Super magnetic and I think they'll work out great. All right, so that's all of our materials. Let's head on over to the sewing machine. All right, so just as I said, we already have our bag tag on. We are at our machine, which is a Juki TL2010Q, sewing the Tex 35 weight polyester white thread from Wizardry Stitchery. And now, before we do anything else, we're just going to attach our swivel to the side, and we're doing it opposite of our bag tag. There is a measurement in the pattern for this. And we're just going to baste it down. Easy peasy. All right. Now we're going to take our exteriors. and clip them together, matching up our corners, our sides. All right, and then we're just gonna go ahead and sew together our both sides, the bottom, and then we're gonna box our corners as well. And we're just going to take our time over our webbing. We'll take a little scrappy and use it as sort of like a hump jumper down here just to make sure. We are using a regular foot, so I'm just being extra careful. We don't want to skip any stitches. Perfect. Okay. And now we just want to box our cute little corners. Sure. I am trying to butterfly even though they don't seem to want to. I just think a butterfly will help it sit flatter. If you want to nest, you can. You just want to make sure that you put your seam on the same side. These are small corners, so just have to take your time and sort of ease them in and you should be good to go. And we're just going to sew those together, making sure our seam is flat on the bottom and the top.
same thing over here. And we're just gonna slightly trim down our seam allowance on those corners. This will just help our bag sort of fit together extra nicely. All right, so our exterior for now, you guys, is all done. So we're gonna set that to the side. We're gonna take our interiors and we're also gonna place those right sides together. Matching up our corners. And we're gonna sew this together the exact same way that we just sewed the exterior, except we're gonna leave a turn hole in the bottom. So we're still gonna clip this together. However, we're not gonna sew this whole thing. Okay, so we're gonna leave a turn hole basically in between these two clippies here. And so this will just remain open for the time being. And just sewing those corners will allow us to be able to box our corners, which is what we want. Now you could add foam to this if you wanted. You can make it out of vinyl. You can sort of do you with sort of what this looks like, what it feels like. We are not going to add foam. We're gonna use this as like a sunglass case and sunglasses aren't as delicate. So not concerned. All right, we're gonna turn our exterior right side out. We're just going to push out our corners. And so you can kind of see like, how cute is this going to be? So cute. All right. And then what we want to do is we just want to push our exterior inside of our interior right sides together. So our exterior is still wrong side out, but our our interior, sorry, is wrong side out and our exterior is right side out. And so we just wanna make sure that we put them right sides together and we're gonna match up our side seams here first. We're butterflying again. We're gonna come over to the other side and do the same thing. Okay, and then we're just going to continue on clipping together our exteriors and interiors so that we can sew them together. So these are super fast and they would be awesome for if you're doing craft shows coming up or anything like that. We're gonna leave this open because this is where we're gonna start. And so we're just gonna sew these two pieces together.
There is a curve on this, so we're just, we're just gonna keep ourselves lined up with our seam allowance, making sure that we follow that curve. And that will help give us a nice shape at the end. Just continuing to move our bag or our glasses case I should say you just want to make sure that you have a, a basically a, a flat area in front of you you want to make sure everything is flattened out and that will help you as you come around to make sure that you're gonna keep your seam allowance where you want it but also that you're sewing where you want And so here are these sides, they come down. So we're gonna come down and then we go back up again. And so we're just, again, lining up with our seam allowance and that should allow you to make a nice turn. This pattern is written very well. And the curve is gradual. So easy for beginners, but also a really good skill builder. And we're just coming over to this other dip here. We're gonna do what we did before and just go down and then pivot back up again. So that's just us sort of moving our fabric out of the way. Now you can't see it because it's white on white, but that allowed us to line right back up with our original stitches where we started, which is exactly what we want. And here on our edges, because of that curve, there's less bulk on both sides as well, which is perfect for when you're sewing. Guys, we forgot to box the, the interior corners. All right, we're gonna do that right now. Oh, sometimes I wish I was live so you could be like, hey lady, you missed a step, but that's okay. So see, we missed a step and it's not a big deal. Thankfully, we noticed it before. So we're just gonna pull our exterior just up out of the way while we box our interior corners. I was like, oh, it's so bright down there. Mm-hmm, of course it is, okay. All right, so we're just flattening our seam that is gonna be down on our sewing bed. quick little cut down that way it fits in there nicely and this same same thing that we just did and if you're like me and forgot just the main thing here is that you keep your exterior out of your sewing Same little snippy, just a little bit. All right, now we can go ahead and just turn our case. And so before we close up our little turn hole, what we wanna do is get our hands in there and we are going to top stitch this now top stitching is listed as optional in the pattern 
which I think is great because it allows for you to figure out what works for you and your materials and your machine. I know my machine is fine with two layers of waterproof canvas, so we are going to do a l nice little top stitch on this. And so I'm just going in the turn hole and using um, my fingers to press out where our interior and exterior come together to make sure we get a nice crisp edge. And that's why we leave that turning hole open. So that we can just get on up in there. Push everything out. And we're almost all the way around. Once we do that, we're just going to plop our interior on the inside and take a look at our case and make sure that everything is where we actually want it before we top stitch anything down. So here is what we're looking at and I can see the curve and the fact that it goes down and so I feel good about that. We are going to top stitch from the inside and so I don't have a problem with my bobbin being on the outside. If you do, that is something you want to think about. When you're top stitching, you'll have to possibly turn your bag so that you can top stitch from the outside. I'm just checking my bobbin. That is good to go. And we caught. All right, we're all set. We're gonna go ahead and do our top stitching and we're gonna start from the back because it's less noticeable that way. So we're just gonna take out a couple of clippies. We're going to Get ourselves in there. It is a small bag. Okay. And just take your time here. big thing is you want to try to keep the same length don't really want your curves to be groovy or anything like that and we're just going to take our time coming up on the seams even though it's just waterproof canvas we still want to make sure we don't skip any stitches We don't go off our seam allowance at all. So we're just gonna hand crank to get us over that little hump. Here we go. Now we're back to traditional stitches. Ok, 
again, just taking your time to move everything out of the way. Here, we're just coming back up on our seam. And so we're just gonna move everything, flatten everything out, make sure we're good to go. Take our time, pop right over. There we go. We're just gonna cut this long thread from where we started because we're almost back there already. Just gonna burn our, the ends of our threads here. So you can see how we pivoted and that made that really nice turn. Now we need to sew up our turn hole. So we're just gonna pull back out that interior piece, bump out our corners. And then we're just gonna put our fingers right in this hole. And you can see that the material just folds over on itself. So that's exactly what we want to happen. And then we're gonna put this right underneath and sew it up. You could clip this if you want. It's not a large hole, so it's not necessary. Put another little bag tag hanging out from in here. If you have something fun. All right, we're going to actually go over to the finish table and I'm gonna show you how to use the rivet press to put in the magnetic snap and how we find our markings and all of that. So let's head on over to the finish table now that we have all of our threads burnt up and finish this off. All right, so we're at the finish table and we just put holes through the front and the back. And the way that we did that is we just found the center by matching our seams. And then we made a little mark and we used our hole punch to punch out the holes. So that was pretty easy. Now, what we wanna do is on the front side, I want um, this piece. So we're just going to stick that right through the hole. And then we put our cap on, which holds it in place for now, okay? So then we take the opposite and we put that right here on the inside push it through, and again, we put the cap. All right, so those are just in place for now. They work. Now, we have to put our pieces in our press. So this is the rivet side and that screws on up into the top. And then for the base, the ones that just pop in, we have two separate ones and this is because our sides are different. So this with the male end is gonna be to set the female snap, which is this one. So we're gonna put that female side down, rivet cap up. We just wanna make sure that we're in there. And then a nice press. Okay, so then we'll take our other female, we'll take um, our male snap end. And again, just make sure it clicks in there.
that needs to go, sorry guys, a little bit more. There we go. This one looks like it does also. So we're gonna have to switch back out. It's a two armor. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, there we go. So that's how you put in the snaps. Magnet snaps on the press are so simple. They're pretty much my fave. All right, let's take a look at this thing all set. Okay, guys, see how fast that was? We're done. We just installed our snaps, which we see here. Perfect. They're gonna, I actually have some glasses. These are my, um, blue light glasses here, see? So we can go ahead and put these in our case like so. And there we go. And these, they're not gonna fall out. I know you're like, oh, there's just a snap, no zipper closure. These are not falling out. The snap is right in the middle. So we can hang them from the inside of our bag. If you have a big bag or a tote bag, um, I have a work bag and things get lost in there all the time because it's giant. It's way bigger than it should be. I don't need to carry all those things all the time, but here I am. I do. So those fit in there nice and snug. They are perfect. We didn't put any interfacing. We didn't put any foam or anything like that because I'm not putting glasses that can break in here. Um, and so I'm not concerned about sort of foaming it up and giving it that padding, but you totally could. It depends on what you want to put in here. These are so fast. If you are doing craft shows, you're looking to make gifts for people, you want to give something to a teacher um, as like a, hey, like, thanks for being here for my child, a bus driver, X, Y, Z. These are going to be your new best friend. They box perfectly. We split open that seam so it's going to sit nice and flat for you when you're not hanging it and it has glasses in it. It's perfect. So fun, so easy, nice skill builder, and you'll be a pro with these in no time. I love a pattern that you can just cut the pieces out and you don't have to look at the directions because like you got it. And this is one of those where you will get it. It is easy, it's fun, super beginner friendly, and so giftable. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I hope that you got something from it. And I just, from the bottom of my heart, am so happy to have you all here with me to add new people to our channel every day and to welcome back folks who have been here the whole way, part of the way, but keep coming back. I appreciate you. Enjoy. And I'll see you soon.